In an examination, 52% candidate failed in English, 42% failed in Mathematics. If 17% candidate failed in both English and Mathematics, what percentage of candidate passed in both the subject? Here, 52% failed in English and 42% failed in Maths and 17% failed in both English and Maths. That is failed in both the subject. Now the combined data is for failed students and we already have failed student data. So let us draw Venn diagram here. Now this combined data that is this intersection is for this combined data which is equal to 17% students who failed in English and Maths and you can see this 52% students who failed in English also included in the 17% students who failed in English and Maths. Then we need to find out students who failed in English only. Because students who failed in English also included in students who failed in English and Maths. So students who failed in English only is equal to 52 minus 70 which is equal to 35 percentage. This intersection is for students who failed in English and Maths. Now, we need to find out students who failed in Maths only. You can see students who failed in Maths also included in students who failed in English and Maths. Now, to find students who failed Maths only, we need to subtract 42 minus 70. So, 42 minus 17 is 25 percentage. Now, you can see percentage of students who passed maths only included in percentage of students who failed English only. Same way, percentage of students who passed English only included in percentage of students who failed maths only. Here, percentage of students passed maths only included in percentage of students who failed English only. Same way, percentage of students who passed English only included in percentage of students who failed maths only. These are equal. So, percentage of students who passed both the subjects that is English and Math, which is equal to total percentage is 100 minus number of students who failed in one or two subject or in both the subject, which is equal to all these three. That is 17 percentage plus 25 percentage plus 35 percentage, which is equal to 100 minus 77, which is 23 percentage. So, option B is your answer.